And if you're the one that is constantly surprised in life, it's easy to be the victim. Yeah. And you know what? It doesn't serve you well in the long run. So how often is someone actually surprised when their spouse wants a divorce? You know, that's a great question, Melanie, and it's one that, that I find particularly interesting because I have many clients that sit in my office and tell me how surprised they are mm -hmm. because they were served with, you know, divorce papers. And it's obviously very upsetting and, and very traumatic, but frankly, it's not often surprising to mm -hmm. them. As we peel the layers of, of, of that client, of the onion involved, you know, we find out that they knew for a long time that something wasn't working in the relationship. They may not have been one, the one that pulled the trigger, but certainly they knew about the dysfunction. I find that the clients who are surprised are often the ones who don't process change well. Mm -hmm. It takes them time, and, and, and maybe saying they don't process change well isn't fair. It's they take more time to process change. Mm -hmm. So they simply weren't ready or aware that that change was was perhaps what they wanted yeah. or were ready for it. But I think that they know that there was something not right in the relationship. They may not have wanted that result, the separation or the divorce, but they certainly knew. So after we, and the reason it's important by the way is not because it matters if someone is surprised or not, but it matters for them going forward. Sure. It matters yeah. for how they respond to their soon to be ex, how they explain things to their children, how they posture and position themselves for the rest of the world. It really doesn't serve most people well to be a victim for very long. Right. And if you're the one that is constantly surprised in life, it's easy to be the victim. Yeah. And you know what? It doesn't serve you well in the long run. I think it's what you're saying is so important because when you're in relationship, there are agreements and there's conversation and then there's this comfortable way of being. Yes. And couples get into this comfortable, whether it's functional or dysfunctional, they're used to behaving a certain way. And the courtship is gone. Mm -hmm. You forget that the person you're sharing your bed with is actually a person with their own feelings and desires and imagination and interests. And if you're not curious about that individual on an ongoing basis, how can any marriage last in this day and age, right? There's too many distractions. It's too easy to go outside of the marriage. So who's surprised? I'm surprised when marriages work. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised when they're conscious enough to be in relationship, to say the entire sentence, to ask the entire question, to accelerate toward embarrassment so that you get the communication that you need from the person that you're most intimate with. That desire to just sort of feel comfortable with it, right, to take it for granted, really turns the human being that you're with into really an object, right? Yes. Like sometimes they're a vehicle, right? Housekeeper, a breadwinner, Sometimes they're um, an obstacle. Uh, you know, I can't do this, or you know, she won't let me do that, or he won't give me that. And sometimes they're just irrelevant. And that is, you know, that really takes the humanity out of this whole, you know, this whole relationship. And so when people say they're surprised, you know, they haven't really been tuning into the other person as a human being. And it's almost like, a surprise, I always hear this. Well, I, I know our relationship had problems, but I didn't think it was this bad. That's right. And I'm thinking, okay, well, let's think about this for a minute. So you saw the telltale signs, you saw, or you guys discussed certain things and no change was made either on your part or his part. So tell me again, how are you surprised? Because it was there, no one decided, the two of you together, because I'm not blaming anybody, mm -hmm. no one decided, hey, I think we need help. I think we need help. And if we did go get help, how much did we apply what we learned into this relationship mm -hmm. so it didn't end in divorce? So the surprise, I hear it, yeah, but I don't think so, even in my own story. If I look back and I had to do that analysis, of that assessment at the end, I wish I had a divorce coach then because we would have went through that process then. When did you see the signs? And I'd be honest, I saw the signs, but I paid no attention to them because ah, I'm comfortable. Yes. 
Settling. This is going to work. Right. Yes. Settling was settling was good enough. Settling is good enough, and also you're the fish in the fishbowl. Right. You're you don't. You, this is normal. Losing self-respect, being given crumbs, being taken for granted, the chipping away of self-esteem that happens on a day-to-day -day basis and you don't realize it's happening until they walk out the door and you have no self-esteem left. You don't know who you are. You don't, we don't get that that's happening until we're forced to see it. And that's typically when somebody leaves or when there's an affair or when you've had it. So in the grand scheme of are people actually surprised when someone asks them for a divorce, the truth, according to the panel, is no. <laughs> By and large, if your partner has asked you for a divorce, chances are you knew it was coming. There are a lot of signs. And if you're worried that your marriage is heading into the dumps, do something about it now. If you need help, ask for it. Help's always available.